All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone that rule impeccably well. Shalom to the brothers out there pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Bobby Akanan for the GMS England branch. This will serve as an intransit edition video. Lord willing, it's edifying unto you brothers out there and few sisters listening and also learning. Now, um, you know, the spirit had me um, really meditating on how, you know, us brothers that are, you know, laboring in his truth Lord willing, making our calling and election sure. You know, the Spirit had me um, really meditating on the fact that we're not of this world. All right? And ultimately, you know, even though we, you know, we have, you know, jobs, you know, we have, um, We have, um, you know, particular duties and ties to, partic to particular things that are in the world. For example, you know, your job, um, your woman, you know, children, you know, if you have children, parents, even though we have these, you know, these ties, we are truly not of this world because our mind state is already focusing on the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and you know people can um, people can sense that within you. All right, people can sense that you know that someone might meet you and they can see that you know you're functioning in the world, but they can actually see that you're not a part of the world. All right, because being a part of the world. All right, that's the spirit. You know, there's there's a very spiritual aspect to being a part of the world. And when you come across someone that's worldly, for example, you know, a, a Jake, you know, that's in the world, man or woman, you know, you can look at their, you know, appearance, you can survey their spirit, and you can tell that they're of the world, all right? But when someone's not a part of this world, you can tell they're not a part of this world, all right? And I remember, um, <laughs> I remember my woman, she used to say to me, this is like, you know, my second or third year coming into, tr into the truth. She used to say to me that, you know, that I'm distant. It's like I'm here, you know, in the flesh, but I'm really not here. And that's because I was always meditating and still am always meditating on the return of Yahweh Shai, all right? And, you know, when she said that, that's when I, I really, you know, knew that, you know, being in his truth, you know, you got to be all the way in. You know, you can't be half-hearted. You can't, you know, have one foot in the world and one foot in the truth. It's not possible. You know, the scriptures tell you that. You know, you can't serve Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and serve Satan and this world and the flesh at the same time. It's not possible. You actually have to make a choice. All right? You have to make a choice within yourself through the spirit. And you have to, you know, devote all of yourself to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Because that's the only way we're going to obtain mercy from the Lord, man. All right? Having this truth and doing the right thing, you know, going out there prophesying, all right, with the gift and a portion of the spirit that we've been given, okay, we have to do that, man, you can't have, you know, too much time invested in the world, you can't have too much time invested in things that are not pertaining onto the truth, because at the end of the day, when all hell breaks loose, the only thing that's going to matter is what you've done concerning the work. All right? When martial law 
is active, when Jacob's trouble is upon us, all that's going to matter in your mind at that moment in time is your works that you've done prior to what you're experiencing at that point. That's all that's going to matter to you. All right. Now the scriptures say, you know, in Romans 12, that we're to make our bodies a living sacrifice unto Yahweh about Shimei Shai. And the scriptures also say that, you know, that's our reasonable service. Okay. Now we're never going to get to the point where you're going to feel in your spirit that, you know, you've given enough because it's never enough. To be quite frank, it's never enough. Anything that we do concerning, you know, putting up videos, concerning, um, you know, going out to camp, you know, being brotherly, being charitable, you know, all of these things, you know, you can never say, look, I've done enough, okay? Because what you have about Shimei Shai is about to, what you have about Shimei Shai is about to bless us with, Lord willing, you know, we build the elect in the kingdom is not comparable to what we can do for the Lord concerning preaching his word, man. It's just not comparable. All right? You can never say you've done enough. You can never, you know, feel satisfied in, you know, the work you put in concerning, you know, this ministry, man. That's why, you know, the scriptures calls us prisoners of hope. We're in a constant spirit of hoping that Yahweh Shim Shai has mercy upon us, man. It's all about mercy, all right? The scriptures say that our righteousness is as filthy rags, okay? So that, you know, these things are to humble us and to keep us, to keep us in the spirit and to keep us lowly, okay? And that's what the Lord desires, man, because the scriptures say the meek shall inherit the earth, man, okay? The meek shall inherit the earth, man. That's that's who you have about Shimei Shai is dealing with. He's dealing with the meek. He's dealing with the, with, the, with the lowly. He's dealing with those that you know are of a contrite spirit. You know those that are catching hell. Those that you know don't want no parts of this kingdom. Like it tells us in um, Ezekiel nine. You know, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. You know. We're literally sighing and crying. We hate and we detest this place, man. You know, our spirit doesn't even want to be in these bodies. Sometimes you wake up in the morning and you just feel like giving up the ghost. All right? Because this place is so wicked and so wretched and filthy. All right? And then we know that, you know, we're filthy ourselves, man. You know, but Lord willing, you know, if we be able to elect, our transgressions are going to be blotted out. That's what we hope for. Again, we are prisoners of hope. That's what we're hoping for, man. Okay, we don't want to be in these filthy, you know, carnal bodies, man. We want to receive a new body. We want to, you know, receive a new mind, a perfect mind from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Whereas we're not going to be able to sin no more. And we're going to always be pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and not provoking him to wrath. Because that's why we're in this situation in the, in the first place, man. Because we provoked Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to wrath. All right? We don't want to succumb to the flesh no more. And when people meet you, they can feel that vibe on you, man. You know? Brothers can attest to this. You know, you meet people in the world and, you know, they can tell, you know, this is something about this guy. You know? He ain't really here, man. He's on he's on another journey. But he's just occupying here. You know, like, like, like Yahweh Shai said, occupy until I come. That's exactly what we're doing. We're occupying until Yahweh Shai comes, man. And people are going to be like, damn, like, I knew there was something about this guy. You know, when Yahweh Shai comes back and it's revealed who he's chosen is, that's when they're going to be like, damn, I knew there was something about this guy, but they just couldn't put the finger on it, man. And even when we was in the world, you know, many brothers have these, you know, testimonies too. You always wanted to, um, you always wanted to make a change. You always wanted to find out what life was about. You knew there was more. Okay, and then until you found that truth, you know, your spirit wasn't going to be, uh, your spirit wasn't going to be at rest. That's exactly how I felt. I was, I was on YouTube, I was on Google, you know, I was Googling things about the scriptures, about the Bible, but I had no understanding, you know. I was Googling all kinds of things, I was looking at all kinds of different religions, trying to seek comfort, but I couldn't find anything until I stumbled across, you know, the truth, what we have now, through the spirit. 
you know, and that's when my spirit, you know, on a, on a, on a particular uh, level, you know, found rest. And I only found that rest with, with finding out, you know, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, and more importantly, finding out, you know, the names of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. When I found, you know, those things out, you know, my spirit had a had, had, had a particular solace to it, man. Had a, had, had a particular comfort, you know? Now, yeah, we still want to get out of this kingdom, but just knowing this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, and being blessed, blessed enough to partake in this truth, that gives you great comfort alone, all right? But you have your down days, man. You have your days where, you know, you're just in, you know, you're just you're, you're rebuking every 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 day in your mind. You're, you're just rebuking everything about this kingdom, man. And that's a good spirit to be in. You know, that is a good spirit to be in. To constantly hate this place, man. Because the scripture's talking about, you know, they love not their life unto death. All right? So you will be in that spirit sometimes where everything is just, you know, pissing you off. You know, everything about this place is just rubbing you the wrong way. You know, you, you can you can see the demons on people. You can see, you know, the way people are talking to you that, you know, the demon on them is trying to, is trying to row you, okay? And try to, you know, drag you into some bullshit. You know, we, you know, because we're spiritual men. You know, we see when these things are happening, man. But that's what endurance is all about. Endurance is all about having this truth and being spiritual enough to occupy in the world with the truth in your mind as well, man, because that's a whole different battle. And that's why the scriptures say in the book of, of uh, Ecclesiastes, you know, with much wisdom is much grief. All right? Having this truth, at times, you know, it brings a lot of grief, man. There's a bitter side to it. Okay? Because you know what righteousness is. You, you know right from wrong. But you can't truly exhibit the fullness of of it in a wicked kingdom because this is not our kingdom all right and that's why you know we earnestly push for the return of Yahweh Shai man that's why we're so you know fervent in this truth that's why you know we upload videos that's why you know we're occupied in prophecies man like it says in a Sirach uh, 39 you know it says we're supposed to be occupied in prophecies it says that we're supposed to have holy conversation. Okay? All of these things. Alright? There ain't nothing better to talk about, man. <laughs> As I said, you know, when all hell breaks loose, the only thing you're going to be thinking of is what you've done for Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai. The only thing you're going to be thinking of is if you've done enough. These are the things that are going to be plaguing your mind, that are going to be festering in your mind. Have I done enough? Have I made my calling and election sure? You know? Have I made full use of the penny that I was given from the Lord? Have I used my talent in this truth? You know? Was I wasting time? You know, these are all of the, you know, thoughts that are going to be coming to your mind, man. All right? But if you know through the spirit, you know, you've given it your all. And you fought the good fight of faith, like the Apostle Paul said, <coughs> I believe in the book of Timothy's. All right? You're going to have, you know, some assurance in you that, you know what? I believe through the spirit that, you know, the Lord is going to deliver me. Because let's be honest, like, there's an element of us that believe that we're of the elect. You know, in humbleness. You know, in the most humble fashion that I can say it, there's an element of us that believe we are indeed of the elect. That's why we do what we do. You know, that's why we're making our calling and election sure. That's why, you know, we speak boldly concerning the scriptures and concerning the prophecies that are getting ready to happen because we believe that the Lord has given us a very special portion in the spirit all right he's revealed unto us you know these prophecies and he's made us understand the things that are written down in the book so that gives us a great level of confidence man that's why the scriptures say in Amos 3 and 7 surely the Lord will do nothing but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants the prophets man so we have those secrets man so lord willing we are the servants of your how about shai you know so with that lord willing this video was edifying and until next time i'll say shalom